Hyderabad city and Telangana state has been in the forefront of many initiatives in the recent times. Ever since the creation of the new state, when it became a reality in 2014, all of you have been witnesses, the new initiative, the new landmark achievements which the state is, is getting in various fields. One of, this, one of the issues which I would like to mention is that in the recent, in the recent survey which uh, the Mercer Survey Company of New York uh, which every year surveys more than 250 cities in the world. For the fourth year in a row, Hyderabad was rated as the most, the best livable city in India. This is one of the examples which suggest that the initiative taken by the government, the initiative taken by the corporate sectors and organizations like this is pushing us not only to be the pioneer but also creating new dimensions of challenges for others to excel in this field. Cyber data breach is a very, very contemporary issue. And as Mr. Gupta had just mentioned that almost 2,000 plus data breaches have been reported already out of uh, 41,000 reported incidents. Now, uh, this is the time when we need to create more awareness, both within the organization and outside. Already there is a legal framework and as you are aware, Hyderabad and Telangana is one of the rather the first city and state in the country to have a cyber security cluster. So this was launched, I think, last year and it also got a mention from our Prime Minister, was appreciated and supported by various stakeholders from ne from Netherland. Now, the security cluster also creates environment, training facilities and constant upgrading of the skills. These are the things which each and every company as a part of their corporate ethos must incorporate, must practice and must keep on upgrading their skills in this regard. Now, when we talk of breaches, Definitely there will be breaches because no system can ever be 100% perfect. The only thing is that with, cre with creation of more awareness, more training, more uh, knowledge, we can reduce the number of breaches and large number of them can be prevented very easily. A few things which I notice is that many companies, many users, they have a tendency of storing and holding data. Now whether it is required for everyone to hold, to store, that needs to be assessed and analyzed. And what is called need to know should be spread to need to store. Who is supposed to store, who is not supposed to store. Now these are the cultures which the new companies particularly must adopt. The, the, the failure sometimes is inevitable in any business organization. But most of the attacks can be prevented by following a, a a secured SOP. The, the HR policy has a very, very important role in this. Sometimes uh, uh, many employees feel that their data is unimportant. Who is going to have access to that? Which is absolutely a wrong attitude. Now these are the things which when one needs to create it. And on this occasion, I would like to really congratulate Dr. Zaki for this wonderful initiative. And he has brought on this platform uh, the luminaries in the, in the field like Prashant Gupta and uh, Mustafa Sheikh. I am sure in the times to come, Hyderabad will show, uh, will show the path to not only all the states, but also various organizations in the country. Thank you.